the excitement of having this horse have the great year that he's had and obviously coming into the Breeders Cup is arguably the horse that people think is going to be the favorite for this race. Uh, I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are hoping he run well. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, you know, the we come up with a tremendous effort to get here. So we like to have a successful result, of course. And, but even, even if, um, and you know, we, we're grateful to be at the British Cup. He obviously was a very talented two-year-old. He was a grade one winner. Then he went through a spell where he was on a, a losing streak. And obviously since he's been with Brad, it's been a different story. Did you guys ever lose faith in, 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 in him at all that he could come back to his top form? Well, um, I would say, you know, as a three years old, it's a completely different um, uh, situation because of uh, the Kentucky Derby. And, you know, um, we always believe um, he's a good horse. And, you know, you can see he, he won the, you know, grade one as a two years old. Um, but, you know, we, we feel like, uh, you know, mislead him as a three years old campaign. So, um, you know, given time off and then, you know, probably he appreciated it he appreciated and then he turned into fresh and then he made a good start with the breath. That's one thing that Brad has said, the horse always had talent. He, um, you know, they're asking what do you attribute to, he says, you know, the horse matured and he was giving the horse the credit. That's right, yeah. Um, that's why we believe and, you know, he broke the maiden first time out at the Ellis Park. And, you know, I always believe uh, talented horses can do that. You know, the, whoever broke the maiden, um, you know, first three starts, you know, they always have a talent. And then especially this horse, you know, supplies us um, win the grade one at the Keeneland at three, two years old. So we always believe, and he, he, he didn't, he run well at the Breeders' Cup as well. Uh, he finished second juvenile. Yeah, he was a price yeah. that day. Uh, too, yeah. I think a lot yeah. of people forget that he ran in the Breeders' Cup as a two-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the game winner, it was a winner. It would have been easy to retire him last year after he won the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile, and you kept him in training. Talk about that decision and the, what the payoff has been this year for you. Well, um, we always thought about going to the Pegasus um, World Cup after the Breeders' Cup. And then um, after the Pegasus, he ran so well. And after Pegasus, and Brad was thinking, you know, it's a it's extremely, you know, very, very sound horse. So, um, you know, and then we don't have a, a stock plan, quite stock plan yet. So uh, we rolled the dice one more year. And how glad are you that you kept him in training <laughs> this additional year? Yeah, I'm very, very grateful. And I think uh, Brad did a good job to keep him the one piece. I was going to say, what, what is it about Brad that, I mean, obviously he's a very accomplished horseman. What is it about him that you've seen from him and that his work with Nick still has really kind of been... Um, I think that, the, um, you know, he figured out um, the what, how, you know, he figured out quickly, um, you know, what kind of talent he has, you know, how he can show that talent, uh, maximize his talent in the race. So, um, so kind of, uh, that's the, that's the key, uh, to make him, um, you know, even better the race first. What's it like watching him run, you know, because he, he runs fast early yeah. and a lot of horses then they wouldn't be running fast late, but he runs fast, uh, late as well. Does it sort of just uh, surprise you each time that he keeps going or just in awe of him, how he can keep going? Um, the, I'm, I'm just watching the race like you guys and you know the only things I can get the little inside scoop is you know that what the Joel Rosario said right mm -hmm. and he said um, I mean last race here the Lucas Classic and you know he he didn't show everything you know he didn't ask him you know like a Con Haskell at Prairie Merrill he said he asked him a little bit, but he react, he responds so fast. You know, he, he, he feels so much horse, so he holds him again. So I think uh, when he go to the competition, uh, he knows what to do. And, you know, he's, um, 
in tactical, of course, he has tactical speed. And then in interesting horse, he had a good um, turn of foot. So that helped him, um, you know, um, lead from the other group in the race. The decision to pursue the classic, first time he'll have been a mile and a quarter, versus um, doing what he'd already done, going in the dirt mile, was it like, been there, done that, let's see what else this horse can do before he goes off to stud, give him that chance at a mile and a quarter? The, the <laughs> Long-winded question. Uh, <laughs> the, um, the decision to run in, to point for the classic versus going in the dirt mile. mile. Okay. Um, Probably um, he already won the dot mile. Uh, we like the challenge. Um, then uh, you know we see, you know he can handle the one and um, eight. Um, so we like to give him you know fair chance to show uh, what he got. You know, so I think that would be a great opportunity for him. How big is this for the KRA? And what's it? What has this horse done for the KRA? And you know you all are really trying to have. You know, major league big time racing in Korea and even though he's racing here how does it benefit racing in Korea well you know the KRA always uh, like to support uh, Korean uh, breeding um, that's why we um, start off the, this project and they have a <clears throat> the genetic test um, tool um, to select the uh, elite horse so they came over here to buy and go to courts and the race here you know if they run well and you know, especially the grade one winners, they plan to help uh, Korea as a stallion. But um, that's their goal. Um, so that um, for now, is uh, Nick's goal is beyond their expectation. So <laughs> we like to have him here and then see how it does at the career in the United States. He ran. He not only ran well. He ran too well and accomplished too much to to not stay in Kentucky for a stud career. Correct. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a, yeah, we're very excited. It's going to be another chapter for us, yeah. Will they be sending a lot of mares to them? Um, think about it. Um, they discuss, but, uh, you know, we're looking at the different angles of how we can support the stallion.